Factors that Influence Language Development by the Speech Therapy Department of the Direction du Programme Jeunesse, Sius de l'Estrie CHU. As a parent, it is normal to wonder why your child has a language difficulty. Within the same family, a child may experience language difficulties, whereas his siblings may have a normal trajectory. It is common to have a family history of language difficulties. Some members of the extended family may have or formerly have presented with a language or learning difficulty. It is known that boys are four times more likely than girls to present with a language difficulty. Often, no particular cause for language difficulty is found. However, certain factors can influence language development. In this video, we will talk about the influence of the following factors on language development. Recurring otitis or ear infections, the influence of siblings, a child's temperament, and learning more than one language. Let's first discuss recurring otitis. Otitis is an ear infection. Fluid accumulates behind the eardrum and the ear becomes infected. It is often the consequence of a cold. When the ear is infected, the child doesn't hear sounds or words as well. Recurring otitis can thus affect language development. The child with otitis shows signs of ear infection. He has pain, he cries, he tugs at his ear. He may or may not have fever. Sometimes the signs are milder. The child feels well but speaks loudly or asks others to repeat what they say. You can consult your doctor to confirm whether your child has otitis. In some cases, the physician will request a specialized consultation with an ENT an ear, nose, and throat specialist to get the appropriate treatment. You can prevent complications from colds, such as otitis. The nose and ears are connected by the eustachian tube. Microbes can easily move from the nose to the ears, especially in children. You must therefore regularly clean your child's nose. A clean nose is a better natural filter against infections. Teach your child how to blow his nose one nostril at a time. It is easier for a child who is not congested to practice speaking. You can play a game to motivate him. For example, place a facial tissue near your nose and have fun making it float up by blowing air out your nose, keeping your mouth shut. Show your child to do the same. You will be prepared to face a real cold. You can also use a saline nasal spray to clear your child's nose. Several companies manufacture child-friendly brands. The sensation might be disagreeable at first, but your child will breathe more clearly once his nasal passages are clear. You can also use a nasal rinse. Speak to your pharmacist to learn how to use it. If you are not certain whether your child hears properly, Request a hearing assessment with the audiology department at Hôpital Fleurimont. You do not need a referral from a doctor. Just dial 819-346-1110, extension 14697. Now let's examine the influence of older siblings on the child's language development. Siblings play a positive role in language development. They provide an array of language models to the child who is learning. Siblings are ideal communication partners. They help the child to practice interactively on a daily basis. However, siblings can take up a lot of room in conversations. The child with a language difficulty loses opportunities to practice. Furthermore, siblings can quickly interpret what the child is trying to say. They leave him with little opportunity to develop his ability to make himself understood. It is therefore important to explain to older siblings to let the child with a language difficulty speak so that he can practice. It takes practice to learn how to ride a bike. The same applies to language. Practice is necessary. 
Give this concrete example of learning to ride a bicycle to the older siblings. As a parent, make sure that every child has a turn to speak as much as possible. A child's temperament and behavior can have an impact on his language development. A sociable child will engage more readily with others despite his language difficulty. He will take advantage of the opportunities to communicate. A very active child will not maintain lengthy interactions. He will be easily distracted and may pay less attention to words. The child may have a harder time retaining the information he hears. A shy or solitary child will participate less in interactions with others. He therefore has fewer opportunities to practice and to hear others speaking. Furthermore, the child's general condition can influence his manner of communicating. Your child might be tired, sick, impatient or excited. Recognizing your child's temperament and general condition helps you to adapt to him. It is important to provide him with opportunities and conditions that are conducive to communicating. Remember that a child must never be forced to speak, regardless of his temperament. Some people believe that a child who doesn't speak is lazy. They are tempted to oblige the child to speak. We must realize that a child with language difficulties must strive to make himself understood. The child communicates as best he can. Learning is gradual. The child might also succeed in making complete sentences or in pronouncing a word correctly one day, only to no longer succeed the next day. Learning more than one language does not impede language development. The child who develops his language abilities in a bilingual environment goes through the same developmental stages expected for every language. Of course, a child needs to hear a language often in order to learn it. His models must also be adequate. Speak to your child in the language you feel most comfortable using. A disparity may occur between both languages because there seldom is equal exposure to them. The child may have a greater mastery of the language he hears most often. It is also normal for the child to use both languages in the same sentence. Children learn words through experiences in their daily activities. As a result, they might learn different words in each language. By adding their knowledge in both languages, one can estimate the language level of bilingual children. Bilingualism does not cause language problems, but it also doesn't prevent them. It is important to pay attention to the language development of a bilingual child. When in doubt, it is recommended to consult in speech therapy. So, what can you do at home? You can act on factors that influence language development. Make sure your child has good nasal hygiene to prevent otitis or ear infections. Pay attention to interactions with older siblings in order to give the child with a language difficulty the opportunity to communicate. Observe your child's temperament and behavior. You can adapt the way you interact with him to foster his language development. If your child is growing up in a bilingual environment, Use the language you master best. We also invite you to view the video entitled Helping My Child to Develop His Language Skills. In this video, we discuss simple and effective means to support your child who is learning to speak. Please do not hesitate to consult the following resources. Thank you for your time and attention.